To be considered as one of the most controversial queens in England's history is an understatement for me. I am Elizabeth Whitville, who also went by Dame Elizabeth Grey, or the White Queen. Yes, the star show is about me. I was one of 13 children born to Richard Whitville and Jaquetta of Luxembourg around 1437. I wasn't considered nobility, and this became one of the larger controversies in my life. I first married Sir John Grey, a Lancastrian loyalist, and we had two sons. My first husband was killed fighting in the Wars of the Roses. With nowhere else to go, I put myself in King Edward IV's path. I waited for the king near a tree, which is now known as Queen's Oak. I pleaded for my son's inheritance, but he gave me much more. Edward IV fell for me and my beauty, and we married in secret. I know, it sounds like a fairy tale story, but my plan worked. After we eventually revealed this news to the public, my marriage to the Yorkist king in 1464 sent waves through the English court, heating up political turmoil that lasted for decades between the houses of York and Lancaster. I was not the ideal royal bride, as I was a commoner, and now a widow to a Lancastrian. I was crowned queen in 1465. We had ten children together. In 1483 Edward died, and my two sons and I were now in danger. I quickly became the widowed former Queen of England. Richard III soon seized the throne, and quickly became my biggest enemy. He charged my mother with witchcraft. He placed my son, Edward V and his younger brother in a tower, and they were never seen again. I and my daughters were also imprisoned in the Tower of London. However, we were eventually released after Henry Tudor defeated Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485. Henry Tudor married my daughter, Elizabeth of York, and became King Henry VII. I was finally able to retire to a peaceful life, and I died in 1492.